Hello boys and girls, I am going to show you today how to use some clay hand building strategies to make a small bowl. We're using the pinch pot strategy and sometimes these small bowls are just called pinch pots. So here's how it's going to begin. You will start today with getting a chunk of clay, it's sort of a, a cube, that's a form, which is an element of art, a cube shape right now, uh, meaning this kind of like a square in a three-dimensional form. And the first thing you want to do is turn this cube into a ball. So here's how you do it. You take your cube and you start sort of packing it back and forth between your hands. This reminds me a lot of making a snowball. We had a snowball fight on Monday with my family and some friends, so I had a little bit of practice. So what I'm not doing is rolling it on my um, mat, here my clay mat or newspaper. I find that that sort of sucks the moisture out of it and dries it out. It's best to just pack it between your hands or you can roll it like this, kind of squeeze it. This helps get the air out of it and it makes it round. Okay. Now, I also have for you a little handout that has a lot of words on it, but it has some great pictures. So, right now we're doing step one, roll a ball of clay. You can see in the picture there, step two is gently push your thumb or finger into the center of the ball. So, I set my clay down, thumbs up, thumbs down, I'm going to find the center, and I'm going to push, 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 push. And you'll feel it. You'll feel when you're near the bottom, but you don't want to go all the way through. And then you stick it at your thumb out, and you have a nice deep hole that goes down towards the center. Now, using your thumb and your fingers, you gently pinch to widen the pot. This is a great picture right here. It shows kind of if you were to take one of the pots and cut it down the center. Uh, what you want it to look like. The sides, the corner, the bottom, is all even thickness. Um, one of the trickiest things is sometimes students make the top way too thin or the bottom way too thick. You really want it smooth and even. And the best way to tell if you're doing that is to sort of close your eyes and just feel it. Okay, back to our pinch pot. So, I call this the Krabby. You take your fingers, you put them together like a mitten, and you're going to press like this with your fingers straight. So everybody try that right now at your seat. Crabby, crabby. So I'm going to take my thumb, put it down in the hole, and I like to start at the bottom. Okay, you can see it's already sort of flattening out on the bottom. And I pinch and turn, pinch and turn, pinch and turn. And you can see the hole is getting bigger, the walls are getting thinner, and now I can actually put both of my hands down in there. Pinch and turn, and it starts to even, you can kind of start pulling it up as you are pinching and turning. Okay, so again, you can actually just pick it up off the, off the um, table and start pinching it out. Okay. Now you don't want the walls to get too thin because they'll start to sort of cave in or flop out on a bowl like this. So this is actually pretty good. Notice I'm using my thumb to sort, and I'm supporting the outside of it with my hand and I'm just sort of smoothing it out. Okay, now I have some cracks and some lumps and bumps. I'm going to show you some strategies for fixing that. So I can use something called slip. Slip is a mixture of clay and water, and it has two purposes. The first one, which is what we're going to use right now, or do with it right now, is sort of like lotion. So I take my sponge, and did you see how I was squeezing it out? I don't want much slip on my sponge at all. So I'm going to start rubbing it, and look at that. It sort of smooths the clay and fills in all those little cracks that might have started. But a word of warning. If you use too much slip, your clay gets too wet and too soft, and it just kind of starts to fall apart. Okay, so I've added a little bit of slip. Now the rest is going to be up to me with just kind of smoothing with my fingers. Or I have these um, 
pieces of plastic, sometimes some of them are old like credit card things or hotel keys, and some of them are lids from um, containers that I've kind of cut, and you can use it as a scraper. You have to support the inside, but you can sort of scrape it. Now, I've turned it on its side so you can see what I'm doing. I would, um, if I were doing this at my seat, I would want it like this. Okay, and you can use this to scrape, kind of smooth the side. It's not with the straight like this, it's at an angle. Okay, you can smooth the top of it. All right, so I'm changing the texture. That's an element of art. I'm changing the texture of my form. Form is another element of art. It's a three-dimensional form. So I'm smoothing out the, the texture. Now here comes a really fun part. Now you get to add your own texture. You've sort of taken this texture away or you've just made it smooth, so a kind of a lack of texture. And now I get to use tools to press into the clay. So something as simple as a popsicle stick. I can take this and push it in and when you keep repeating it into a pattern, it adds so much interest to your pot. The whole time you have to be careful to support the edge of your pot so it doesn't sort of fall apart. Okay, so I would wanna keep doing this all the way around the edge and align so I have a pattern. That is a principle of design pattern. Now, here I come back to where I started. So now I have this cool pattern all the way around. There are other things you can do. I actually have um, some stamps. Let me grab one right here that you can use to actually push into the surface of the clay that create a pattern, or excuse me, a design that you can make into a pattern as well. So I'm going to use this sort of triangle going all the way around the edge. Now, after this dries, I will put it in my special oven that gets super hot, called a kiln, and then we will add ceramic glaze, which is kind of like paint, but it's also a little bit magical. It sort of changes colors. It's almost like liquid glass, and it's going to fill in all of these textures and make them stand out even more. So. I think I would still like to add some more textures. You can also do something into the um, center. You can also take a carving tool and actually just draw into the surface. So if I wanted to draw, um, let's say a sun, I could do that just like I was drawing with a pencil. And just like you're drawing with a pencil, you can actually erase. If I draw something and I don't like it, I can take my finger and smooth that away because I'm really just making texture lines. Okay, boys and girls, those are the basics for making a pinch pot with clay.